first division place in competition with the likes of West Ham, Oldham and Sheffield Wednesday, despite being at a financial disadvantage. Clive Turley has been to find out how they are managing it this season. It's amazing to think that the Magpie Stripes of Notts County may end the year back in the first division. Six months ago, they were still a game away from getting out of the third. They needed a Wembley playoff victory over Tranmere Rovers to secure promotion. In two years as their manager, Neil Warnock has turned Notts County round. He's changed the club's personnel and their fortunes. They're now lying fourth in Division 2. What he can't change, though, is their image. With average gates of just 7,500, County remain unfashionable promotion contenders. I think we've played everybody and um, we haven't got anything to fear. But I think when you look at the West Ham's and the Sheffield Wednesdays um, and one or two of the other top clubs, the squad, the sort of money that they've got, um, they have to have an advantage over you. Um, so you shouldn't really be on the same platform. Um, but um, it's funny, like Greavesy said, it's a funny old game, isn't it, really? And when things start rolling, it's very difficult to stop sometimes. County's current role owes much to the two signings Warnock has made this season. Midfield player Paul Harding and striker David Regis cost him just £85,000 from non-league Barnet. Since they came into the team together two months ago, knots are unbeaten. Harding's eye for goal at Barnet alerted Warnock to his potential, but the player's eye for business almost got in the way of a transfer. He could earn more as a plasterer and part-time footballer. Financially, was it a difficult decision to make? Yeah, definitely. Um, from the work money and, and football money, I was, I was earning a uh, uh, good screw, definitely. You've taken a drop in money to Def play in the second yeah, division? Yeah, yeah, but that's second. That's what I much want football. Regis's footballing ambitions are following the family footsteps of brother Cyril, maybe the best advertisement of all for investing in non-league football talent. David's own talents have already yielded six goals for County. So many players now have come through non-league and played for England and whatever, and yet clubs are still afraid to take that risk, which I find crazy, really. I mean, my brother comes from non-league football. Alan Devonshire, you can go on for ages, can't you? A number of players that have done and gone on and played for their respective countries. And still, managers, they want to see a player a thousand times before they make a decision, which is crazy. A lot of managers were looking at them and, and decided against it. Paul Harding has had more clubs than I have. Uh, when I had, was a player, I had eight. And uh, people, you know, sort of warned me against taking him. And Regis, you know, a bit of a softy at times. Um, but they've come in, and uh, apart from their accents, uh, the southerners, you know, the lads ribbed them. Um, they fitted in very, very well. And both look promising players. Warnock made his name steering Scarborough out of the non-leagues. Some of the no-holds-barred training sessions he brought out with him will certainly raise establishment eyebrows. This is not a manager who believes in mollycoddling his players, as they discovered when he took them on a mid-season break to the seaside recently. Unlike buying it, we, we thought we might have been staying in a top-class hotel. We pulled up outside a guest house in our cars, and, um, you know, we thought we were just having something to eat or something, you know? <laughs> anyway, when we got inside, was, my room was right at the top. I had a double bed, and I had the two young lads with me, Tommy Johnson and Mark Draper. They had bunk beds, believe it or not. <laughs> and uh, everyone was in hysterics. It was so funny. Johnson and Draper are two of the budding talents that are packing Meadow Lane with First Division scouts every week. Warnock believes that Draper here will play for England within three years. He may not be the only one if Notts County's homespun starlets are promoted to the First Division this year. If you've got money, you spend it. And um, I'm never afraid to spend money. Uh, but um, at, at this moment in time, I don't look at Forest and envy anybody. I don't look at any other club, Manchester United, Tottenham, anybody. Um, I think that they would probably look at our lads, some of our lads, and envy us. Um, because the one thing you can't buy in football is team spirit and results. And uh, a lot of people would like to put a price on that. Well, if your results continue, you're going to be playing against those teams next season. If we're not careful. <laughs> But it's a good story, Jim. I like to see that, that team is, getting I mean, back up there. It's incredible that they are unfashionable to a degree. But, I mean, I, when, when I first started working in the Midlands in the early 80s, they were in the first division then. Of course they were, Of course, yes. with Big Kill Klein and Pedro Richards, Chidozzi, Christie, McCullough. Uh -huh. And, and Justin, uh, Justin Fashion, yeah. yeah. So they had a good side and they produced good football. And I don't see any reason why Neil Warnock can't produce the same with this particular side, apart from a racist <laughs> remark against Southerners, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> the county are away uh, to Oxford today. Right, Friday night.